Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to your grade four Go Math lesson. Um, this is unit one, lesson 1.3, compare and order numbers. Before we get started with this lesson, I want to review a little bit with you. Um, I know that this can be confusing for some kids, so I want to make sure that you have this slide. We're going to be going um, and discussing in this lesson the greater than, the less than, and the equal to sign. Now, I know when I was your age, I always got confused. How do, how do I know the difference between the greater than and less than sign? Um, if you think of it like this, an alligator, the open mouth of the alligator is always going to be open to the larger number. He wants to eat the larger number. That's the greater than sign. So when you're comparing two numbers and you, you're using the greater than and less than sign, make sure that the sign is open to the larger number and you would read it 5 is greater than 3. Let's get started with the first page boys and girls. Make sure that you're following along and make sure that you're writing in your workbook as you're doing this so that you can go back to these pages and review when you don't understand something. It says compare and order numbers. The essential question is how can you compare and order numbers? Well, let's unlock the problem. The Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona had 651,028 visitors in July of 2008 and 665,188 visitors in July of 2009. In which year did the park have more visitors during the month of July? Well, it's asking you to answer these two questions. How many visitors were there in July of 2008? And there were 651,028. And how many visitors were there in July of 2009? There were 665,188. Well, we can use a place value chart like this and line up the digits. Hundred thousands, ten thousands, ones, hundreds, tens, and ones. And we just compare starting from left to right. And what happens is when the number differ, the digit differs, that's going to tell us what number is greater than the other. So let's start with number um, step one. We're going to pair, compare the six, sixes in 651,028 and 665,108. 88. Well, in the hundred thousand spots, they're the same. They're equal. So we're going to put an equal to sign here because they're both 600,000. Okay. Now it says to go to step two, compare the ten thousands. Well, here we have 651,000 and here we have 665,000. So five thousand. 10,000 is more than, less than, or equal to six ten thousands. It is less than, okay? So I'm going to put the less than sign. And remember, the open end of your sign is open to the larger number. So we read that five ten thousands is less than six ten thousands. All right. Um, the digits in the hundreds place are the same. Five ten thousands is less than six ten thousands. So six hundred and fifty one thousand and twenty eight is less than six hundred and sixty five thousand one hundred and eighty eight. So there were more visitors in July of 2009 than there were in July of 2008. Okay, awesome possums. Let's look at the example two. It says use a number line to order 10,408, 
10,433 and 10,416 from least to greatest. Locate and label each point on the number line. The first one is done for you. So they've put in 10,408. Well, let's go to the next one, 10,433. Let's find where 10,433 would be. I see 10,430 here. So 31, 32, 33. 10,433 would be right here. I'm going to make a little dot. If I, oh, well, that's a big dot, but. Uh, so it's going to be 10,433. It's hard to write. Uh, I'll do the best that I can. Now we need to find 10,416. Well, I see 10,410, 10,420. Right in the middle would be 10,415, so right next to 10,415 would be 10,416. So I will write that on there, 10,416. Boys and girls, make sure you fill in your number line. So. Um, numbers, numbers to the left are closer to zero. Think, it says think. The numbers to the left are closer to zero. So the numbers from least to greatest are 10,408, 10,416, and 10,433. So we can read this as 10,408 is less than 10,416, 10, 10,416 is less than 10,433. All right, so let's look at the next one. It says compare 10,327 and 10,341. So if I look for 10,000, or I'm sorry, 15,327 and 15,341. 15,327, here's 15,320, 15,330, in the middle is 15,325, so 15,327 would be right here, and then it's asking us to find 15,341, that would be right here. I'm going to put the dot there. So 15,327 is less than 15,341. Now it's asking us to write more than, less than, or equal to. $631,328 is more than, less than, or equal to six, $640,009. What's the answer, boys and girls? 631,000 is less than 640,000. So we're going to put the less than sign there. All right, let's go to number three. 56,991 is more than, less than, or equal to 52,890. Well, 56 is larger than 52, so it is more than. 708,000 is more than, less than, or equal to 629,672. Well, 708,000 is more than 629, so it's more than. 143,062 is more than, or less than, or equal to 98,643. It is more than. All right. It says, order from greatest to least. And what I did was I put these numbers in order. 20,650, 21,150, 20,890. And it wants from greatest 
greatest. So which one of these numbers is the greatest? Start at the ten thousands. They're the same. Now go to the thousands. And 1,000 is more than the zero. So 21,000, I'm going to put it here, 21,150 is the larger number. Put my comma in there. Boys and girls, make sure you're doing this. Now let's go to the hundreds. Um, here and we have a 100 and 800 or 600 which is more 100 800 or 600 800 is so the next number would be 20,000 put my comma in 890 890 So the least number would be 20,650. All right, boys and girls, make sure you have filled out this worksheet. Boys and girls, this page I want you to do on your own. I want you to pause the video. I want you to complete this one on your own. When you have finished it, start the video again and we'll go over your answers. All right, boys and girls, here are the answers. Um, I think this is pretty easy. And I think this was pretty easy. If you got something wrong, um, check your answers and talk to an adult at home and try to figure out why you got it wrong all right um, this one here would be the hardest one because two numbers could fill in there it could be 453,535 or 463,535 so this would read 464,000 is 464,000 um, 545 is more than 453,535 or 463,535, okay? All right, it says Leah's car has 156,261 miles on the odometer. Casey's car has 165,002. Mike's car has 145,843. Whose car has the most miles? Order the numbers from least two greatest well KC has the most miles ordering the numbers from least to greatest would be 145,834 156,261 and 165,002 look at the next one it says at Monica's used cars the sales staff set a goal of 25,500 in sales each week the sales for three weeks were 28,288, 25,369, and 25,876, which total did not meet the goal, okay? They wanted 25,500. It would be 25,369. All right, what's the error? Max said that 36,594 is less than... 5,980 because 3 is less than 5 describes max error. Well, it's easy. Max compared digits in different place value positions. 5,980 is less than 36,594 because 36,594 has a digit in the 10,000 place and 5,980 does not. Here is another page that I want you to do on your own. Stop the video, do it on your own. When you're finished, go back to the video to check your answers. Okay, let's go over this. It says use the picture graph for um, numbers 18 through 20. So I hope you looked at the picture graph very carefully. Um, the first answer in which month did the Grand Canyon National Park have about 7,500 campers? It was in September. How many more campers were in July and August and in June 
in September. Well, you had to do a little bit of adding there, about 10,000 more campers. What if during the month of October, the park had 22,500 tent campers? How many, um, how many symbols would be placed on the pictograph for October? About four and a half. You had to make sure that you read that. Um, and then it says, what is the question? Compare these numbers. And the answer is this. The question would be, which number is the least? And I needed a question mark there, boys and girls, and I didn't put it. So I'm going to put it now. Because I want it to be right. Okay, now it says, Zachary School set a goal of collecting... 12,155 cans of food each day. In the first three days, the school collected 12,250, 10,505 cans, and 12,434 cans. Write each number in the box that tells whether or not the school met the goal. Well, on these days, they met the goal, and on this day, they did not because, the remember, they set their goal of 12,155. Now it is your turn, boys and girls. I need for you to do this page. And I need for you to do this page on your own. Take a snapshot of it when you are finished. Send it to me. I'll grade it. What you have right, great. If you did anything wrong, I will contact you and help you figure out what your errors were. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Awesome Possum Classroom 451. If you would like these worksheets, email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com. I can send you the link. Have a great day.